It's time already. Already? I don't know. Feels like it's been a while, but also feels like it hasn't been that big of a while. But point is, hey there, everyone. Saucepan, Patapons. Uh, this is it. I just beat Guacamelee. So even though the last video isn't online yet, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. We're going to spin the wheels and look up names. Uh, here we go. Royal ball time. Who's going to be the next royal? Let's shuffle it up a little bit. Let's click the spin and a reminder this is opt-in if you give me a dollar a month you can opt in can be put on a list the wheel's gonna be spun you only need to opt in once dog in the grass yo it's all it's always exciting when anyone makes it but when a community regular someone everyone knows gets picked oh the smiles grow on high dog in the grass you are the royal in the wheel. You did it. Ah, woo, everyone. All the barks. All right, here we go. Done. Dog, yo, waiting for you to give me three games that I will choose. Or you can be manager. But I'm pretty sure you got your ideas on games you want me to choose. You really stick to your theme, typically, to your branding. So, I... I... Maybe. Wow, what a pointless, meaningless statement I just hack on there. All right, well, yeah, dog in the grass. You didn't. Look at that. We didn't have a second. Uh, by, by the way, James never got in touch for me for uh, making a list. So we will be opening up. We're going to be spinning this ridiculous list here. We're going to be looking at games together. That's a thing we're going to be doing. Uh, however, so the invitation to make a manager list uh, is open to Jam at any time. Like, it does not, like, the, the uh, offer does not end, like, it does not expire, but, you know, I'm going to move on. So, we got 451 games? Really? Well, let's shuffle them a little bit. And we're going to roll five times. And then you guys are going to vote for what game among those you want to see. I don't know, man. Here we go. I'm not named George at all. On the internet, I'm known as Ao Cow. When the first game here is Poyo Triple Deluxe. Kirby Triple Deluxe. Uh, does that game need, like, any, 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 what's the word I'm looking for here? Any, 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 any? Kirby Triple Deluxe is the 13th platform and 10th mainline installment of the Kirby video game series developed by Hal Everton, published by Nintendo for Nintendo 3DS. Ooh, 3DS, huh? I mean, I'm still wary about 3DS-ness. Let me check this Citro wiki. Let's see here. Well, rating great, so that's good. Game function with minor graphical or audio glitches and playable from start to finish. May require some work around, huh? Um, well, let's see here. Here we get a perfect from someone in 2021. So that's the most latest. And he's he's giving a great, not a perfect. But in 2021, someone gave a perfect. My computer is significantly better, though, than this. So maybe you'll... Okay, so no issues. No, 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 no issues. Uh, so, alright, well, so what is this game? Like, like, okay, so there's just, yeah, there might be stuttering, but it shader things. And that's just true about modern emulation, though. Alright, so, so it might not be a perfect run of the game, but it should work fine. Kirby, I don't know anything about that game, other than it's triple and deluxe. Oh, triple deluxe of 3D, except we're gonna be playing in 2D. So, I hope that you don't mind, like, but, I mean, otherwise, Sonic, Sonic, Kirby, I love Kirby. I love me a good Kirby. This is a lot of saying, a lot of something for something. Anyway, it's spin again. Yeah, 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 here we go. I am going to play a song. It's gonna be called Irwin. No one understands why. <laughs> This is, uh, this is starting out real strong. <laughs> Alright. Well, playable. Why is it just playable, Dolphin Wiki? Let's see here. 
Well, that's fixed. We can tell because that's like like that. Um, uh, just go go and then, all right. So okay, but there is a fix. I mean, it sounds to me like there are problems, but um. But, like, there are, like, ways around it. I mean, fair enough. Like, it seems like there are workarounds. And, you know, what? that's why I like checking these out. Because it's... Uh... Anyways, because, you know, like, it's good to learn about these things. But, yeah, so, Super Mario Galaxy. I don't know if I need to say anything, really. Uh, I've never played it. I know actually very little about Super Mario Galaxy. This would be me playing essentially blind a mainline Nintendo official Mario game. Yeah. Like, it definitely feels like a game I should be playing. I just didn't. Like, when, when this game got released, like, around the Wii, like, I just was not really buying games like there, there's a big chunk of time uh between like playstation 2 and like um when i started buying game on steam <laughs> like way later in the mid 20 2000s or something 2010s even where i just you know just buying games was not a thing i was doing anymore playing new games no forget that so uh yeah this is absolutely a blind spot in my Mario Kart knowledge, and uh, could be something we could be rectifying. I'm a little worried about what it says there, but I mean, people can do their own check for me and stuff. I, you know, that typically is what happens. Uh, but like, if I can run, you know, like if I'm gonna be running things like 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 Sonic on a PS3, you think that. Ooh, okay, something completely different. We will have to YouTube something. I don't know if this play is in, <laughs> in a poll that includes Kirby and Mario, but we're gonna give it a shot. Environmental Station Alpha is a pixel-based, like, Metroidvania, right? Let's check it out here. Oh yeah, these first few seconds that are like nothing. It's pretty good. All right, yeah, it's like it's a small indie project. Like this is gonna be completely different. I keep seeing Axiom Verge stuff like in the field and whatnot. Um, <laughs> so maybe some shared uh, ancestry or uh, references. I don't know. Anyway, station was used as a zoo for all these pixel animals that are like straight out of Metroid. Wow, no, just wearing its inspiration on its sleeves here. It's pretty blatant. Oh, they're little bird chirps, though. Decades. And they're thriving. So why don't you leave all these animals alone, huh? You see, the fire vents are thriving. <laughs> A spider! Yeah, they're having fun. Oh, oh no. Okay, well, no, yeah, that's why it was abandoned, probably, right? However, we have been receiving signals from this... Oh, I see. That's why we're not leaving them alone. Oh, that makes sense. I got my little plane! What? It's gone! Dangerous. <laughs> I read that, but unnecessary. I don't know why. Oh, I'm feeling in a silly mood. But this game is being very serious. There's something genuinely cool about how they're approaching this. Like, it's just so serious. Oh, we're gonna play a robot. Robot frick fiends out there. Take note. Dot, 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 me! I'm the robot! Oh, 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 you shouldn't have. Oh, you took me by surprise there. Look at that, little guy! He's moving his little leggies to walk. Whoa, big capsule, so big bosses. Yeah, big animals. Flash when you get damaged. <laughs> That's a shock. 
little buggy. This is a long trailer, but like, you know, it's like a lot of setup. And now it's showing, yeah, this looks like a pretty slow, fairly elaborate game, doesn't it? I think it looks super rad. Like, there's a reason I said I remember watching the start of a Let's Play of this game uh, by Alex Diener. You can see his name in the top right of the screen. But, like, almost every... That's just a boss of the world. Uh, like, almost everything he ends up playing, I only watch, like, at most two or three videos. Because it's like, well, we clearly have the same interest in games. I want to play that one day, so... And, uh, so Alex Diener, a.k.a. the preview of games I want to play eventually channel. There are exceptions, luckily. Uh, wow, yeah, this trailer kind of goes for a bit, doesn't it? I mean, by the time I play, like, like you know, we will forget the, the, the specific details. But I just think that, yeah, like, like the, the pixel art is just absolutely magnificent. And it's like, it's a bit, it's a style of game, you know, very, it seems, like, I don't mean slow in a bad way, but, you know, it's, a. Uh, it's, it's one of those games, you know, you're expected to take your time, deliberate, that's what I'm looking for, like, that TV screen is deliberately bleeding all over the console, you know, that kind of thing. Environmental Station Alpha. I've been surprised by votes before. Maybe it stands a better chance than I think. We'll see. That looks really cool. Yeah, a very deliberate trailer. You know, when when you look at it that way, suddenly it starts to make a lot of sense. But yeah, Axum Verge there, and, and when I was searching, there was a lot of Axum Verge. It's really, really weird. Really weird how that works out. Boop! All right, so that's three. There are two more picks that need to happen after all this. Uh, look at that wheel spin. It spins all day long. It somehow managed to miss all of the things with advantages. I don't even know what this is, Addo. Oh, Addo. No, yeah, I remember. Okay, I remember the thumbnail, so I'm gonna click this thing. Yeah, so hey, beautiful pixel art. How about instead of being a robot, you're a cute little critter. Hey, hey this baby is property of us now. Oh, this looks super cool. Like, I, now, now I remember. The name is like, kind of nondescript, but no, no, yeah. Ah, oh, it just looks so cool. I like me pixel games. I don't know if you realize that. We got like, yeah, we got sword fighting. We got violence. Oh yeah, we got bosses like giant shuriken thing there. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, deflect that. Madness. Oh, that looks super cool. Oh, this looks super cool. Okay, yeah, get out of here, ghosts. There's seasons? Seasons exist. And we got triangle puzzles. Uh, oh wow, no, yeah, we look, there's a lot like some pretty intense puzzles actually. Puzzle platformer exploration game. And that's like exactly my genre. Invisible man, swingy guy, clash on a big bridge. Uh, oh yeah, more bridge and more clashing. I don't know what happened there. And then you got a gun? Ridiculous. You got a pokey? That's a dragon. Whoa, look at that. Good guy's cool move, though. Yeah, the more this goes, the more we get, like, they, they show, like, really, really silly set pieces and attack. Oh, that looks so rad. Doesn't that look so rad? Doesn't that look so rad? Atto. Atto? A-T-O. No, yeah. No, no, yeah. No. <laughs> Make me choose between Kirby and Addo, and I don't know what I'm choosing, honestly. Like, that looks so cool. That looks so rad. Okay, and we still gotta, we gotta spill, spin one more. One more, so look at that, that arrow though, in between a whole bunch of advantages. I feel bad because it's clear that the advantage is maybe not as advantageous as it should be. But at the same time, there's over 400. I literally added that yesterday. No one knew I added that in the game. I saw this on <laughs> Don't Make Us Bored. I was like, oh, well, that looks like a really dumb game I need to play. 
All right, let me see if I can find a trailer. Like, I, I'm not kidding. Um, I literally added this last night. <laughs> Uh, the name of the game is I'm going to die if I don't eat sushi. It pretty much says exactly what's on the 10. Speed run is 24 minutes. I guess there's like, see, 16 minutes, that's too long for a gameplay. Oh, PC, it's not a trailer. Okay, well, let's see what this 50 seconds trailer tells us. Uh, this seems to be a re. A there you go! That's a game! <laughs> so if you want me to play a game, that's like 30 levels of this! I'm into it! Oh, that guy's so passionate about fish! <laughs> <laughs> this is a terrible trailer. I love it. So yeah! There's a meme game on the list now. There's nothing you can do about it. See, wow, that, this is a terrible trailer. I love it. <laughs> so, 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 so we got... We got... We got Kirby! We got Mario Galaxy! Environmental Station Alpha! Atto, and I'm going to die if I don't eat sushi. Those are the games you can vote for. <laughs> All right, this is the list. Saving, and we're not done yet, kids. All right, uh, then we get the. Open list. We got a powerful wizard supposed to spell with a mystery box. Let's give it ye old shuffle. Because, yeah, last time I did a spin right off the old compute. Um, I forgot to give weight the things that were supposed to have weight. It's fine. Like, it doesn't matter. But, all right. So, the theme of the next mystery box after those. I don't know what it's going to be. But it's going to smell like sulfur. Like I died and I went to heaven. See? Advantages do get advantage. Alright, so we spend two things, and we combine the result. And that's gonna be the, th the thing of the thing. Alright. Oh, by the way! Something I want to say. I guess it doesn't matter at this point. Uh, Alright, it's gonna be a small one, too. Game released on a May. Alright. So, here's the thing. Rakugaki Mario is a game that I kinda cheated in right remember like it wasn't supposed to play and decide to play it so what i've decided i want to do is that cookie still here that would have been useful for me but it's not all right i removed it from my list is that so the next time i get a prompt that could feel that could fit in for raki guki mario i want to sort of cash it in and say all right that was for raki guki so I just want to make sure if it wasn't released officially on May. Uh, for ROM hacks, I go from the date they were accepted on SMA. Alright, so here you can see Rakugaki was added in the June. So it does not disqualify. So yeah, a game released on a May. Pretty arbitrary. That's fine. But also combined with... It's a May game. And a spring. Flowers and something. Game with a name that starts with H. Game that starts with H and was released on a May. I'm just kind of curious. Uh... Okay, Hotline Miami was released on October, so can't double down on that. All right, I mean, Hotline Miami probably won the previous bull for the opposite of Nemo. H game in May. Okay, I'm gonna have to possibly do research for what that means, but that's what that means. Video games, they happen whether we want to or not. Dog, get in touch with me, please.